insane guys god oh shoot this is like the most one of the most beautiful things i've seen ever ever god it's gorgeous a little cool definitely chilly Ooh. when that breeze hits all right enough of us check it out yeah we're gonna give you some more guys Morning. Good morning guys, we're here in Canada on day two. So we are having breakfast at Dio Molcas. Which we actually had dinner here yesterday too, but yeah. we're back. It's actually one of our places that opens early and we have a tour plan. So we need to fuel up really quickly before we head out to our destination. So we're only going to this one specific location, but it is basically going to take up our entire day. We're going to Basa Seashi Waterfall and it's actually the second time this waterfall in all of Mexico and it goes up to 246 meters and we're going at the perfect time because our guide said that it's been raining over the last few days so all the waterfalls are running really high so come in rainy season yes definitely because um, I also I've read a couple blogs that they came in about March or April and it was like trickles down the waterfall so I'm really excited to see what this waterfall looks like in all its glory <laughs> And don't mind us, we're just gonna heal up for a long day. Cheers to that. Cheers. Alright guys, we are en route. We have officially begun our tour. So um, Omar transferred us off to one of his partners. So we have Francisco. Hola Francisco. <laughs> So Francisco is going to be our guide and driver down there. Um, so yeah, we have about... It's casi dos, dos horas y media. Sí, dos horas y por ahí dos horas y media. Okay, so almost two and a half hours. Um, so I'm going to take a nap. Um, here, we'll give you some B-roll. <laughs> It took, it literally took us exactly two and a half hours and he was driving slightly faster but because he knows the roads and was able to navigate between potholes. Yeah, so it's, I think it's really important that you get someone that's from around here to drive you because yeah, it's pretty crazy. There were some like very abrupt stops where we had to stop for potholes and then there was like swerving and there was a lot of like beating other cars <laughs> wildlife crossing so definitely recommend getting a guide yeah but besides the roads the views are oh my gosh, incredible yeah. i would i was like napping and then i'd wake up and oh my god okay, what try, is that try, try. what's that javier javier look <laughs> yeah very beautiful drive yeah. so we're gonna go ahead and start our hike um we're following francisco let's go points where you can uh, see the waterfall there is the caída which is like the top you look down on it there is the ventana where you're in the middle and you're I guess looking it through a mid looking at it through a midpoint and then we're going to the bottom so that's another 500 meters so we should be going down 2,000 meters so it's exciting I'm excited yeah, I'm actually excited for this walk. Yeah, so far it looks really nice. Yeah. Super scenic. Let's begin our journey, guys. We have arrived at the Caída, which is the first fall. We are looking at the Cañón de Candameña. What? 
We're just not gonna share any of these views. You guys have to come see them for yourselves. We're just gonna talk about how awesome they are and then you guys have to just come experience it for yourself so you can really see it in person. We're just kidding. <laughs> Here you go, guys. <laughs> So guys, that was the caída, so the initial fall of the waterfall. Uh, so now we're actually on our way down, and I think on the way we're gonna hit something called the ventana, which is like a midpoint, yeah. right? Yeah, mid, like a window opening. Ventana's literal translation is window, so it's like a window opening. So midway point, it's about another 600 meters from here. We'll see you at the ventana. venturing to the very bottom of the waterfall where I'm sure we're gonna be blown away even more which I don't even think is possible but yes excited to see it literally from the very bottom so I think we have about 500 meters left to go which I have no concept of distance when hiking so let's just go been waiting for just kidding it's that one that's where we're going <laughs> bottom of the waterfall however this is about as close as they can actually take us themselves so we have this little shade area because it already feels like it's kind of raining from the waterfall so we are gonna go ahead and just try to get up on that rock right there not too close uh, gotta keep safety precautions so you can sit here because he said when it's raining hard you can feel the fall water falling all the way over here so sometimes he'll take cover over there. So we're gonna go ahead and try to get a little closer and just continue to gaze at this marvelous beast in front of us.
it's way too much time here. Yeah, you can totally spend a whole afternoon here. I mean, how can you not? I think we've kept Francisco waiting long enough, so we're gonna go ahead and make our way back up. Uh, probably get some lunch in that little pueblito and then head back. And we'll see you then. See you next. So we initially were on our way to a restaurant down the street, but when you have a food stall making fresh hamburgers right here, you gotta stop. So we're gonna go ahead and grab a hamburger right here. Good. Onions. Oh no. It's long. We're gonna be busy for the next few minutes, but we're gonna call it a day here and we'll see you in the morning. a great time here. Yeah guys, they don't call them Pueblo Magicos for nothing. It's like really impressive. So we'll be ending the video here in the Placita of Kril. And again, we had such an amazing time here. Can't wait for the next stop. So keep your eyes peeled for the next video, which will be coming to you from Barrancas del Cobre. So you guys know the drill. If you did like the video, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel, hit the bell to get notifications every time we post. And we'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya. Bye.